Hi. Uh, good evening. We are going to today discuss about uh, problems on ages. Problems on ages. Whenever you are talking about problems on ages, there is a basic thing like ego before less. Whenever you have those kind of words, let us use the operation minus. After later hence then we need to use an operation plus or even more also we can use plus so that is what the basic is so using that basics let us get into like 16 years hence a man's age will be nine times his age 16 years ago so let us assume the age of the man be x now 16 years hence whenever it is 16 years hence it is plus 16 a man's age will be 9 times his age is equal to 9 times his age 16 years ago. 16 years ago is x minus 16. Now find his age 5 years hence. So 5 years hence we need to find out the age. So since this is a very single variable let us find out solving and all like x plus 16 is equal to 9x minus 144 so 8x is equal to 160 160 therefore what is x is equal to 20 now he's asking about find his age 5 years hence what do you mean by 5 years hence add 5 what is adding 5 which is nothing but 20 plus 5 is 25 therefore what is your option 25 years that is the fourth option so this is how we can solve the problems using a single variable solving the equation and all but however whenever you can find out like whenever you solve the you have created an equation first equation like this x plus 16 is equal to 9 into x minus 16 you can easily substitute the options whenever these all are five years hence uh, given options we can go to the present age 12 minus 5 is 7 you can substitute 7 7 plus 16 is 23 23 is not divisible by 9 next 20 minus 5 is 15 15 plus 16 is 31 31 is not divisible by 9 17 17 minus 5 why am i subtracting 5 because 5 years hence these all ages are 5 years hence i am taking 5 years back so 5 years back is the present age 17 minus 5 is 12 12 plus 16 is 28, 28 is not divisible by 9. Take 25, 25, 25 minus 5 is 20, 20 plus 16 is 36, exactly it is divisible by 9. So this is how you can solve the problem rather than solving all the equations, variables and all. So next, next problem. Father's age is equal to the sum of the ages of his two sons. Let us assume the father's age be F sum and uh, the son's ages are s1 and s2 there are two sons and what is the father's age is equal to equal to the sum of the ages of his two sons so s1 and s2 five years ago whenever he is saying five years ago it clearly means it is responsible to whatever the variables are used so five years ago the average age of the three means five years ago father Five years ago, son, one son. Five years ago, the second son. Average. What do you mean by average? This is called as average. Adding all divided by three is equal to 29. Now, we know F is equal to S1 plus S2. Or S1 plus S2 is equal to F. We can substitute S1 plus S2 is equal to F. This is five actually. This is five. Five. S1 plus S2 is equal to F. F plus F is 2F. Minus 5, minus 5, minus 5 is minus 15, 3 times, 3 into 29 is 87. So what is 2F is equal to 102. Because minus 15 goes that side is plus 15. So what is F is equal to 51. So what is 51 over here? Second option. So your option is second one. So this is how you can solve. But once, if at all you can take the condition like, Whenever f is equal to s1 plus s2, you need to think that, okay, the sum of the ages of the two sons is equal to the father. Then average 
is 29 means all the threes average is 29 so that is somewhere around five years back all the five years is 15 years is uh, some of them so minus 15 goes that side is plus 15 3 into 29 is 87 that's how we got f is equal to 51 let's go to the next problem now a is three times as old as b and c together a is means is equal to three times b and c together if after 10 years a's age would be after 10 years a's age would be equal to the sum of when see whenever is using the word after 10 years it resembles to a b and as well as c that is very clear need to be noted so after 10 years a's age would be equal to sum of the ages of b and c so b 10 years c as well 10 years so this is very important we need to find out what is the present age of a we know that a is what 3 into b plus c or b plus c is what a by 3 let us substitute that you will get the answer or plus 10 plus 10 gets cancelled what is a is equal to a is equal to b plus c b plus c plus 10 but what is b plus c is equal to a by 3 if you substitute a by 3 or here plus a by 3 comes inside is minus a by 3 a minus a by 3 is equal to 10 so 2a by 3 is equal to 10 what is a is equal to 30 by 2 15 therefore what is a's age 15 years but other than solving in that way if you can clearly observe is asking what is the present age of a whenever is asking about the present age of a it should be a multiple of 3 a's age should be a multiple of 3 so what is in the options what is the option which is a multiple of 3 only the first option that is 15 so if you are all you can practice more questions like that you can straight away look into that and uh, see that this is the only option this is called as eliminating the options method so this is how we can solve this is the procedure and if at all you are doing more number of questions like this we can solve it in this way also let us see the next question a bit of lengthiest part of the question like this is how TCS people will look into take the student into three four five six seven lines but getting into the problem is much more easier now the question is father's age is one more than five times his son's age so father's age is whenever he's saying it is age it's present age one more than five times his son's age if after three years father's age after three years father's age would be two less than four times two less than four times the son's age since it is after three years it is noted even for the son it is after three years son so it is four into s plus three minus two it is four into s plus three minus two now f plus three is equal to four into s plus three minus two and f is equal to 5s plus 1 so this is what the condition is given what is he asking now find the present age of the father he is asking what is f is equal to so very clear if at all from equation 1 you can observe what should be f minus 1 f minus 1 should be exactly divisible by 5 if at all you can observe or from the second equation you can observe f plus 3 minus 2 comes aside is plus 2 so f plus 5 should be exactly divisible by 4 that is equal to s plus 3 this is about equation 1 this is about equation 2 so this is what the condition means the whatever the answer is it should be exactly divisible by 5 when f is subtracted by 1 when f is added by 1 it should be divisible by 4 let us check the options 26 minus 1 is 25 25 is said to be divisible by 5 26 plus 5 is 31 31 cannot be divisible by 4 now let's check about 32 32 minus 1 no <coughs> I'm sorry 
13 minus 1 12 no it cannot be divisible 31 minus 1 yes it can be so 31 minus 1 is 30 divisible by 5 31 plus 5 is 36 36 yes it is divisible therefore what is your answer 31 rather than solving the equations and all so this is what the best way of solving the problem is thank you